I was home alone for a week, as my family had gone on vacation while I had to stay and work. It was around 2am and I'd stayed up to watch a scary movie in the dark in my basement. I was intent on really scaring myself and seeing how far into terror I could really go, while still knowing I was safe in my own home. It was then I heard pounding footsteps on the first floor. This was a common annoying occurrence when my family was home. Every time they passed through the front hallway, past the basement door, I heard their footsteps. This time fear immediately shot through me at the sound. My reflex was to turn off the TV immediately. The basement door was up a flight of steps and around the corner, so whoever it was would not have seen any light. I heard the basement door handle click and turned as I sat in absolute darkness. I moved slowly so to be absolutely silent and crawled behind our large television. As I passed it inch by inch I noted with panic that the black screen still dimly glowed. I heard footsteps coming down the carpeted but creaky stairs. I froze in my hiding place, listening. For many long minutes I heard nothing. Had intruder seen the television afterglow or had it faded in time? Was he standing in the pitch dark listening for me? I seemed to lie there in total silence for an interminably long time. My panic began to fade, and I began to think more clearly. Had I really heard an intruder? Could someone possibly be standing there in silence for so long without making any noise? The basement was so exceedingly quiet that the silence itself began to hurt my ears. Could the unknown person really avoid any noise from shuffling or breathing or anything else? If there was an intruder, he was still in the basement because the creaky stairs were incredibly loud, the door handle clicked, and he wouldn't know to mask his footsteps on the first floor so that they couldn't be heard down here. I began counting in my head trying to pass the time as the drool fell from my mouth onto the carpet. I didn't dare risk the sound of swallowing. I reached 60 seconds once. Twice, 30 times, 60 times. By now my fear had faded and I was more confused than anything. I estimated I'd been crouched in the absolute black for almost two hours and had still heard nothing. If there was an intruder, none of this made sense. Finally, I decided I had to make a move. If I did nothing, eventually the sun would come up and shine in through the small basement windows. And worse, I began to smell something horrible and cloying. Ever so slowly, I began inching my way towards the stairs by way of the walls. If someone was standing there in the dark, I should be able to go around them and then make a break up the stairs. Meanwhile, the horrible odor grew stronger. Had something died down here in the night? No living person would smell like that. Terrible images of some sort of corpse, monster, listening for me in the dark erupted in my thoughts, and I moved as fast as I could without making any sound. Just as I finally approached the stairs, there was an enormous clatter as if something falling or collapsing on the floor. It was the damn moment I leaped forward and crashed up the stairs, running out through the open basement door and my wide open front door. Now certain that someone was in the house, I called the police from my cell phone and watched my house from afar. The police came. 
checked inside the house, and then grimly came back out to question me. They had found a body inside the house, my elderly neighbor, who seemed to have died of a heart attack. They believed I must have left the front door unlocked and he must have wandered into my house while dying, looking for help. At first I felt horrible, thinking that I sat there in the dark while the old man literally died a few feet away from me. Then it occurred to me, what the hell was that loud noise of things falling that last prompted me to bolt up the stairs and out of the house. I asked the police and they confirmed the back door of my house had been left open as well, near a single bare footprint in the mud. Somehow, for some reason I will never know, there was someone else in that basement with us, silent waiting and listening in the dark over the fresh corpse of an old man. How you doing fuckers? This is Lemino. I hope you like this new shit that I'm trying out called Quigby Pastas. Uh, you know, I, I just want to try something new, you know, something to do other than Rage Comics. I, I'm not gonna stop making Rage Comics, so don't fucking worry. I know there's gonna be tons of comments about that, but I'm not replacing anything, it's just trying something new, you know? So, yeah, I hope you like it, and if you do, make sure you click that like button or subscribe if you haven't. You know, all that good shit, I shouldn't have to say this, you know this. But yeah, till next time, I don't know if it's Rage Comics, Creepypastas, or also I'm working on Top 10 Facts. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see.